Hey everyone, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making this clean and simple card using this Lawn Fawn set called Simply Celebrate. It's one of my favorites from their last release and I absolutely love this image for the flower. So I thought I'd create a background with it and I literally eyeballed it. <laughs> um, I was I was actually pretty surprised that I got this lined up as well as I did, but it's actually pretty easy. So, um, so if you do this, you know, and if you don't have a stamp positioning tool, it is very easy to line up with that one. So I just wanted to put that out there. So I'm going to color these images in with my Copic markers today, and I'm just doing some very simple coloring. I am doing just a little bit of shading with every one of them, but what we're going for is a rainbow effect but I wanted to get the leaves colored. So I'm only gonna show you the uh, one set of leaves here because obviously it's very repetitive and I don't wanna keep you all here all day. So I'm just going in with the YG05 and YG09 and just adding a little bit of shading to each one. These images, they really don't require a whole lot of uh, shading anyway <laughs> because they are so small. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you just the one set so now we're going to start with the flowers. And like I said, we're doing a rainbow look. So we're going to do the normal Roy G. Biv to each of the flowers. So I'm starting off with my reds and I'm adding the R29 and R39. This is one of my favorite color combos for reds when it comes to Copics. And because it just makes it look so effortlessly whenever you're coloring with reds. Now you have to be careful with them because they can easily bleed uh, if you use too much of them and blend them too much, um, if you use a whole lot of it, it can tend to, to bleed. So that's why I wanted to start with this first. Because if I if I got out of lines or it was just looking too terrible, then it wouldn't take me too long to start over. Luckily, I didn't have to do that. But So for this one, um, I'm kind of not getting my groove yet. Even though it looks like I am, I did speed up the video just a little bit, like I said, because I don't want to keep you guys all day. But I didn't really know how I wanted to shade these at first. But as I went along and when it went to the other colors, I really then I got a good view, good groove down then. So, so now that I've got the reds colored, I'm going to go ahead and start with the orange. With the orange, I'm using the Y17 and YR04. And it is yellow colors, but they come off orange. So, and I didn't want a really, I guess, stark orange. I wanted just a little bit of a lighter, um, more peachier, I guess, tone orange. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, but you can see that I'm using that Y17 and it really does make it a little bit brighter toward the middle. And that's what I was kind of going for, even though, and it also translates to orange. So I'm going to kind of speed up the video and kind of fast forward just a little bit, because like I said, this is a lot of repetition here. But I moved on to, I'm moving on to the purples now, which is V15 and V17. And I absolutely love these two colors for purples. And it's one of my favorites, I think. And also the um the blue greens too they're also beautiful which is bg15 and bg49 and so i was contemplating what i wanted to do for the middles because usually you color the middles of flowers yellow but i didn't want to do that because obviously i had a yellow flower and i could have probably done a different tone of yellow but i was thinking wouldn't this be neat to just kind of keep it neutral so i just used some uh used e33 and e43 for the middles and it kind of gives off this natural look, if you will, to me anyway. So I am finishing up with the middle of the flowers here. And I just wanted it to maybe kind of point out. Um, in my design, I intended to, at the very bottom, you can kind of see the stamp is uh, turned around the other direction. I wanted to do the very top one the exact same way. But somehow or another, I didn't wind up doing that. And I didn't notice it until... I was editing the video, but I think it still looks good. Hopefully it does to you guys too. But I asked my husband actually and to see, does it look strange that the one flower is turned in the opposite direction? He said, absolutely not. <laughs> so I'm just going with that. So I went ahead and I cut this out with a scallop rectangle st uh, stacks from Lawn Fawn. And then I mounted it to a A2 sized black card base. And like I said, this is a very simple card, but this is also for the Lawn Fanatics 
challenge. This is color uh, color inspiration for this week, actually next two weeks. And so this is my card that I entered into the Lawn Fanatics challenge. And I, th I love how it turned out. And so the what I wanted to add, just a little bit of shimmer to these little flowers here. And then also add some accents to the flowers with white, like white shine marks, if you will. So I'm, and it also made it really um, a big difference because it made it pop that much more. So I'm just taking my white gel pen here and adding those white shine marks. And it really does make a huge difference, I think. So that pretty much completes my card for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is also a peek into my Lawn Fawn Week that's coming up the first week of April. So I hope you stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you on my next video. Bye-bye.